It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Wait, guys, Aaron Taylor Johnson rumored to have been offered role as the next James Bond. Do you guys know who this guy? I've never seen this guy before. I have no idea who Aaron Taylor Johnson is. But he's going to be the next Bond, I guess, with those locks. <laughs> he's got that head of hair on him. They're like, you know what? Maybe the next Bond should have a head of hair. We could just grab him by the freaking, you know, the back of the ponytail, Steven Seagal style. And he'll be like, oh, I'm going to take you down, Seagal. Seagal is a fantastic actor. As Aaron Taylor Johnson, is he going to be the next James Bond, guys? When you get to be Bond. James Bond. Guys, my favorite Bond, <laughs> you got it, Sean Connery. You got to have Connery in there if you're going to talk about uh, James Bond. The outlet reported the insider said Taylor Johnson will sign the contract this week after he was formally offered the role. People have contacted representatives for Taylor Johnson and the James Bond franchise for comments. Bond is an Aaron job. Should he accept it, it's his. He's, all he has to do is say, I want it. I'm going to just do my hair real quick. Throw in a little gel in there. I mean, that's wispy. He's got a wispy hairdo. Look at that. He's doing it. Yeah, can you do me a favor and pass me one of those black coffees behind you? You know, that one looks like I'd probably, have, of all the choices there, in Chongda, because that's what that says above, if you guys don't know how to read Japanese. <laughs> I just read it for you. Chongda, that's uh, where you get your beverages in Japan. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Right, guys? Oh, goodness. If you can... Hit that like. Make sure you leave a comment. And just remember, we're here. We're trying to have some fun. We try to start the morning on a positive. You know, there's so much negativity out there, which is intending to distract you from what's important. Just like us connecting and having a laugh, having a smile, and then taking that out into the world and making it a better place. Uh, that's what I think we need more than anything. So I'll, I'll intend to continue to foster that for us here every single day on the Mark Inspire Show. So back to like Goldilocks over here. Oh, goodness. He's going to get the gig. I want to know where he got that shirt. You know? Like, I was thinking about getting the one that comes down, like, to the bottom, of the, to, like, to the chest area here so I could show, like, that part. I want to get that one in black. Because I'm thinking maybe I'll get mine a little tighter here so then you can see my belly. <laughs> I like to do a Sam Smith. You're seeing him right there over my shoulder right now, Sam Smith. <laughs> That's a body. Right? Um, anyway, Aaron is, you know, I love doing that. Right now I reference things that I'm going to eventually find and clip and then put over my shoulder as part of the news story when I release this. <laughs> Aaron is going to sign his contract in the coming days and they start preparing for the big announcement. Rumors that Taylor Johnson would be the next Bond became swirling following Daniel Craig and his exit. However, the Marvel actor who is married to director Sam Taylor Johnson... Don't know who she is either. Dodged the claims during an interview with Esquire in 2023 by stating he had to go to the beat of his own drum. <laughs> you know, with those locks and all. It's my own path. Oh, there's his wife right there. What we feel, what feels intuitive to me, you know. I've never made a decision based on other people's perspective. Is he English? He's got to be. They only go with English people. So let me go back. Sorry. It's my own path. What feels intuitive to me. <laughs> Trying to sound like Connery. Right? I've made my decision based on other people's perspectives and judgments. Or their expectations of me. I'm going like deep English. You know, when you're talking about pulling out one of the greats. Sometimes. Anyway, that's his wife. Striking couple. She's got those glasses on. He's got the locks. You guys know you want to just go get like a wig of that hairdo right there and just wear it everywhere you go. You know, I just don't want to go out without that hairdo. That friggin' head of hair right there. That is a good head of hair. Craig 56 revealed in 2019 that the No Time to Die was his final film. I'm done. No more. I never, I mean, honestly, no offense, never liked Daniel Craig as Bond. Like, excuse me, we had Sean Connery. And then Pierce Brosnan? You had Pierce Brosnan. Timothy Dalton. 
And then you're like, mm, let's go with the guy who looked like he got hit in the face with a shovel. But everybody loved him, right? <laughs> Craig confirmed that he'd be laying down Bonds, Walther, PPK after Colbert, you know, Stephen Colcutts. He said, are you done with Bond? Which Craig replied, yes, I'm done. He did it as, as close to Connery as he could. Everybody tries to be Connery as, as Bond. They should. He was the best Connery. We all know it, you know? Bond. James Bond. You're like, Connery, he's back. He'd be 137 right now. The actor also opened up on Sunday Times in 2019 about his journey being James Bond. Meanwhile, in October 2023, James Bond producer Barbara Broccoli. Yeah, it's Broccoli. Is it Spicoli? Is it? I'm going to get my pizza. <laughs> All right. Uh, Barbara Spicoli, Sean Penn's wife, spoke about a future of the franchise following Craig's exit. We got a guy with locks coming in. I think these movies reflect a time that we are in, and there's a big, big road ahead. We're inventing the next chapter, and we haven't even begun with that. The Guardian, she said it to The Guardian at that time, guys. So I guess that's the full story here from Magoo. Look at that. Hold on, is this is a better look. Look at me. I'm gonna get that black coffee blend behind me. Am I close, guys? I want it. I got my own right here. You know, <laughs> guys, what do you think about this, this guy with his head of hair, right? Guys over here on TikTok, let's see who's kicking it with me. Jenny, Jen Goswick. Jen Goswick, are you, are you fucking kidding me? Right, Manny, how you doing? Hey, Manny, I told you to come down. Have a good time, okay? I talk about this guy with his freaking hairdo. Is this Brad Pitt? I like a Brad Pitt. He's a good actor, man, okay? Just tell me one time. One time, Manny, okay? Just tell me about Brad Pitt. I come down, I watch the guy, you know? He's like, hey, look, look at me, I'm Brad Pitt. I'm like, I know, man, you kidding? I see you there, man, you Brad Pitt, okay? This guy got the freaking head of hair. Look at that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just feel that hair. Hold on a minute, let it go over. I go, where's my hand go? <laughs> right there. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, I just want to feel that hair. Mm. Okay, hey Manny, hey Manny, look at this head of hair, man. I gotta see if I can take that head of hair and put it on my freaking noggin. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of my mind. It's what we do here. Head over to YouTube if you wanna see his nog. That thing is ridiculous. Like when he goes out there, they're like, I think that head of hair should be the next Bond. They're like, what about the guy? Forget the guy. That do, that do is gonna be in the next Bond. You know, we should just get the guy. Because the guy's attached to the head of hair, you know? And we just got a, a double-decker where we got the, the guy, we got the hair, we got our Bond. James Bond, right? I think that, um, I think that I, I would love to see if I can order that head of hair online. Guys, let's do it. India Times, they're selling it. Hold on. Now, I found some more of that weird powder they're selling in India. <laughs> There's a guy standing in front of it going like that. Anyway, uh, Brad Pitt he made a little bit of an appearance today on the Mark and Spire show. Scarface, you know. Sometimes Scarface comes out and he takes over the show. Okay, I told you. You tell me one time, okay? How dare you? Hey, Lone Star. You come from the Lone Star State, man? I told you something, okay? I came across the border with Manny. I like, hey Manny, you should have told him he was a horse. They would have let you in. That's the best line in the movie. No one remembers that line. Okay, he kills Rabanga. Emilio Rabanga. He stabs the freaking Rabanga guy, right? They're on the bus and they're going. And he's like, hey Manny, what'd you tell the guys? And he's like, oh, I told him, you know, that I was in a sanitarium and that I had TB. What'd you tell him? I told her, you know, as I said, I tell you, you kidding? Man, you told me to say that. You should have told him you was a horse. They would have let you in. <laughs> That's like us today. You should just tell them you're a horse. They're like, come on in. We'll give you a phone. We'll give you a stipend and a hotel room. <laughs> Guys, we got another one. Just give him. No, he doesn't even have to have an ID. Just give it to him. 
right? He's there. He's, he's using his stupid hoof to, to stamp, you know, Sleep Sofa Joe. Get, get some more glue. He is the glue. What? I'm sorry. Oh, no. We're going to make glue out of you. Get out of here. <laughs> the silliness around the bout comedy without getting into any, you know, really things, anything specific. But you guys, I think you know what I was talking about there. Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. You know, you see what I did there? Bond. James Bond. Or Taylor Johnson. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Guys, Sean Connery's back. I do miss Connery. He was like my favorite actor. Who, who didn't love Sean Connery in like everything he did? Except for that talk show appearance where he talked about slapping women. That's probably the, the worst performance of his career. You know, you probably don't want that one. Let's see if we can find that. Sean Connery. Jeez. There you go. No, the talks. Okay. <laughs> this is it right here, I think. Hold on. I got to hear this. This is brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I know Sean Connery regrets this conversation. Okay. You did an interview in which you said, it's not the worst thing to slap a woman now and then. As I remember, you said you don't do it with a clenched fist. It's better to do it with an open hand. Mm. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all the time. I, I didn't I, love that. I haven't changed my opinion. <laughs> you have it. No, not at all. You think it's good to slap a woman? No, I don't think it's good. You I don't think, think it's bad? Because, I don't think it's that bad. I think that it depends entirely on the circumstances and if it merits it. Yeah. And what would if merit it? Merit it? Well, if you have tried everything else, and women are pretty good at this, that they can't leave it alone. Yeah? They don't they want to have I the told last, you already! Last word, and you give them the last, last word, but they're not happy with the last word. They want to say it again and, and get into a really provocative situation. Then, I think it's absolutely right. <laughs> By the way, John Connery oh my goodness! I take it back. I do not like Connery. What a goof! What a goofball, right, guys? I mean, who the freaking heck? Oh goodness, Connery! You got to give it to Connery. Back then, just different times. It was a different time. People were like, "Yeah, I'll slap a B." Like, what? You can't do that. Well, I told her. I told you. Didn't I tell you already? You know, one of those, like we've all seen in the movies. I told you, don't make me tell you twice. You know, all of a sudden you got that going on. Domestic V, you know. Here we go. Wanted SO arrested. Marshall say man was living deep in the Louisiana swamp. Get swamp ass. I can't. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.